Hi everyone, and welcome to this small tutorial in Star Wars The Old Republic. Now in this one, we're gonna be talking about how to assign keys to your quick bars, and basically everything in a game, and how to import and export the key bindings between your characters without needing to edit the settings each time you create a new character or you come up with something new. So first, let's take a look around. So what you see is that I have Quick Burst which has all sort of keys assigned anywhere, like Control plus one, Control plus uh, three, four, Q, E, R, T, all over the place, mouse, something. You can all do that in Preferences. So what you want to do is press Escape, click Preferences. Now by default this will be opened probably on the sound settings with a game tab. So what you do, as you probably noticed, press on the key bindings, find the quick bar section, and you can see straight away that main quick bar slot 1 through 12 is over here. That's this one. You can always tell that the main quick bar, if you get lost in your interface, like I do sometimes, uh, that the bulky one with extra options is always a main quick bar. But we want to edit, let's say, the second row, when we have the QR, etc. But how do you tell which one is which? You have lots of quick bars and no indication which one is named what. What you can do is go into Interface Editor. Now, for some of you that watch my channel, know already I've made the video tutorial about it. For those that haven't, link is in the description below when I explain everything, every trick which you can find in Interface Editor. So now that we have it open, let's look how our quick bar is named, because as you see, each and every single individual window in the interface editor has a name. We can see that the second row in my interface is a quick bar too. Now that we know it, we close the interface editor, we don't need to touch, touch here or anything for now. We open preferences tab again. Go into quick bindings and we scroll down, find our desired quick bar too. And then so that we scroll it down, we can see Quick Bar 2 slot 1 through 5 has keys assigned to them by me earlier, Q through F. But we want to edit it. Let's say you're not a fan of a Q. So what you do is left click on the, on the key here. Well, let's press N for example. You apply the second, uh, serve, uh, the settings, excuse me. And then you press OK to close the window. Or just straight away close the window with pressing OK. It's gonna play the second, but remember, it's gonna close the window. That's pretty much it. How do you assign the key? And you can do that with absolutely everything in a game. If you have a default setting, do it now, for example, if you have game open, you press M by default, you're gonna open the map. That's a basic key binding in most of the game that, games that I know of. Might be wrong, but that's what I have a feeling of. You can edit that as well. Opening character sheet, you can unassign it, you can do whatever, it doesn't require key binding, you can just press it from the imp interface above. If you take a look, I pretty much unassigned most of the of, of the thing. Because I don't like, when I'm going to micro operations, I don't really like windows popping on me, opening like, oh, play another chapter in uh, Knights of the Eternal Empire. Uh, not during the operation, please. So I, uh, I unassigned them all, basically. Now now that we know all that, how do we import and export stuff to and uh, from character so we don't have to repeat all those steps in the future? What we can do is first, of course, ser save the UI so you're gonna see the, have the exact layout without tampering it with uh, on Interface Editor later on. So let's open Interface Editor. And let's create a preset or save the preset here. Let's say mod loco test. Now we just save it with the save button over here. See that it got saved, it's already in the list of all my UI settings. We close the window, we open preferences again. And you, we see that we have two more options on the bottom. Starfighter key binding works exactly the same as in the regular key binding and key binding import and export so let's click on that and we see that if we select for example Silesiana we can see a preview of all the key bindings in a game on that specific preset not just the character but the preset of the character 
but we're not interested in that one. We want to apply this thing to every character we have in our account. So what we do is we type, ah oh yeah, mod test, let it be. Save. Now we see that in key presets it appeared over here on the left. We don't have to apply anything, it's already saved, we can as much as well just close it, as it's exactly the same thing, so it's not worth applying to make sure that it's there. We close the window, that's pretty much it. And now I'm gonna create a new character, just a random whatever thing, just to show you how to import all that stuff from, in that case, Modluco. I'll be back with you in a second. Alright, now that we created a new character, we can start our work. As you see, I have absolutely default uh, interface, there's nothing important about this, it's just what it is. So let's just open our uh, first interface editor, I'll tell you why this first in a moment. And we see Osmondo 1, yeah obviously that's a new character. And we want to find our Modluco test, there he is. Modulo test. All we press is this small, like a paper icon or whatever you want to call it. Click on it, and it imported a whole interface from Modluco. But as you see, none of the key binding is done. It's absolutely empty. What you do now, as you probably can guess, we open preferences, we go to key binding import export, press on Modulo test in my case, and to apply the whole thing. Press, of course, the apply. Okay, to close the window. And there we have it. We have all the keybinds from that characters regarding quick bars themselves, game interface, and all that stuff. Well, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the com uh, comment section below. As for my guild, the Immortal Fleet, if you guys have any questions, find me on Discord, find me in game, on a guild chat, type it in, ask. Anyway, that's all for this video, leave a like if you liked it, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!